What's up my YouTube viewers, this is the Nace Mile Reviews channel and today we finally have the Nike LeBron 11 uh, detailed review video and let's just get straight onto it and start on with materials. So what makes this LeBron 11 so, un so unique is the hyperposite materials that they put on the shoe. Hyperposite pretty much everywhere that you see, uh, mo mostly on the high wear areas where, you re where your foot really strikes upon medial and lateral movements. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of cutouts for the fly wire um, exposing right there. Uh, in my opinion, the hyperposite um, is very, very comfortable once broken in. It did take me a while, which is why this video was so... Um, it took me a while to actually um, make this video because it took so long to for the whole shoe to break in. Uh, perfectly so then it uh, fits comfortable um, to my foot shape um, so yeah high reposit is very di nice once you break it in um, high reposit is a uh, foam posit mixed with hyperfuse so it's a little more lighter uh, more durable and supportive uh, as you can see there's even a high posit triangular high posit on the back heel here don't know why it's there's a hyperposite piece right here, but I'm guessing it's for aesthetics. And uh, on the medial side, more of that hyperposite. You got your Flywire logo right there. And uh, on the front, more of that hyperposite. And then, of course, you still have the, your fuse overlays that you see. Just regular fuse overlays right there. And you have your clear translucent rubber outsole, your plastic TPU shank in the midfoot, your thick nylon uh, mesh, uh, it's a nylon feeling mesh, and it's uh, very, very durable as well. Um, wasn't expecting it to be this nylon material, but uh, it is, so yeah. Uh, of course, you got your double, double layered mesh tongue right there with your rope laces and your pro combat feeling tongue. Uh, material on the top of the tongue with your uh, LeBron 11 pull tab on top. So yeah, uh, overall materials are very very great on this shoe. Um, probably the most uh, durable uh, basketball shoes I ever played in. Um, there's a lot. Uh, there was a lot of time and effort put into this shoe to be perfectly honest. Um, but the, my, that's my only downfall uh, is the break in time. Uh, you'll have to be patient with this shoe um, before you can actually feel all the all things coming together to fit to your uh, foot shape and foot size. And yep, that's that will conclude the materials. So let's get onto the cushion. Cushion on the Nike LeBron 11 is very very nice. Um, it's probably one of the best cushions I ever felt. Um, besides the Air Jordan 28, which had the unlock zoom. Um, that and this um, this setup of uh, the cushion is very very nice and um, it is a thick full length lunar lawn and zoom combo uh, the, just like the materials you will have to break in the the cushion because um, it is so thick your your foot kind of sinks in a little bit uh, from for, for the first time you wear it um, and then um, between uh, switching between shoes once you go back to this shoe in particular, uh, it still sinks in. But uh, you, like I said, it's it's just a break in time that you have to um, patiently wait for. Um, but once everything is broken in and complete, uh, the cushion is so outstanding. It's so awesome, and the, uh, the 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 best part about it is that they trimmed the outsole here to where it is so so thin that you can actually still feel still have that court feel. Um, while having maximum impact protection with the the zoom and lunar lawn combo, so that is pro this is probably that's probably the best feature um, uh, that comes with the shoe is the cushion, um, and it com complements it with the thin outsole. So really happy about the cushion, and yep, that's probably the best feature about this shoe. So let's get onto the track. So the traction pattern on the LeBron 11 is a honeycomb uh, design pattern. Uh, it is storytelling. And this is the translucent translucent version. Uh, it plays very very nicely. Um, I was surprised on how great uh, traction it was on clean courts. Clean courts, these guys worked very very awesome. On dusty courts, you will have to wipe, um, just like any other shoe. Uh, 
and pretty much all, all the other shoes that um, have translucent outsoles you will have to wipe on dusty courts and then on mildly dusty a little bit of dust on the court um, these guys played beautifully um, I had no complaints um, but on very dusty courts obviously you'll have to wipe and uh, yep that's pretty much it for traction um, so let's get on to the lockdown and support so the lockdown and support is coming from the plastic TPU shank in the midfoot um, so, so you won't overflex your foot um, good torsional support as well um, and then along the upper your support is coming from the hyperposite material as well as the flywire cables that run along through um, it's very very comfortable um, and like I said in the material section the hyper posit will just mold to your foot giving you a nice and supportive fit without being too restrictive and uh, the flywire cables you, you, you will uh, be able to feel um, tightening and harnessing your foot and locked inside and then the amount of padding along the along your heel here is, is very very thick and very nice and plush and yep um, for, for a guy like LeBron James who needs support, this shoe obviously will give it. Um, and then uh, another, another feature about the support is the, the outrigger here. The outrigger is very, very nice and, and stable. So then you won't like topple over with your shoe and roll your ankle and whatever. But anyways, support and lockdown is really, really good. Just like you expect from any other uh, LeBron shoe. So let's move on to... Uh, breathability. Breathability on this shoe um, is uh, not that great, but there's a reason why it's it's a hyperposite system, uh, hyperposite setup where hyperposite and um, this kind of mesh feeling doesn't really go good together. Uh, usually, it's a hyperposite. A hyperposite shoe has hyperposite all over. Um, but since this is a LeBron sh a specific shoe, they went ahead and just. Um, cut down on the hyperposite and just put it on the overlays that you need it and then you had this mesh over here and then the mesh as you can I don't think you can see it but uh, yeah I, I, you won't be able to see it but uh, my fingers and uh, in, it's in between the tongue and the, the mesh itself but you get um, substantial uh, breathability and airflow coming into your shoe and coming out of your shoe uh, letting that heat to escape and it's also coming from the mesh tongue here um, and yeah, that's pretty much all the vents that are coming from the shoe. Like, it's just here, here, along the tongue, and along the medial side here. So, uh, for it being what it is, it's actually pretty good. And, uh, my feet don't really sweat as much. So, um, for it being what it is, it's pretty good. And then my overall and final, um, opinions about this shoe. Uh, I really like this shoe. Um... It when I when I first played in it though it did give me problems I, my feet did hurt after um, the two hours the the five hour session that um, I was in because I I broke I went went ahead and just um, bring these shoes along with me and the first time I played in them I just wow they 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 really did hurt my feet um, but once you start playing it more and more and and putting it on more and more and wearing them obviously they will mold and everything will fit perfectly so. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the LeBron 11. And this colorway, this jade glaze colorway, a lot of people didn't like it. Um, I was, I was uh, really, really um, surprised that a lot of people didn't buy this shoe. I, I don't see that much videos and review videos on this particular colorway. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my final impression and my final review on this Nike LeBron 11 uh, shoe. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.